Hey, I'm Christy with Sensible Nutrition, and today I want to talk about beans. Beans are a very economical and nutritious food. They are delicious when eaten alone, or you can use them to bulk up casserole, soups, stews, pastas, dips. There's all sorts of things that you can do with beans. Beans are also a great source of protein. And when combined with a grain such as rice, which is another inexpensive staple, you get a complete protein. So beans are a great way to get some of that protein that your bodies need when you're on a budget. They're also an excellent source of fiber and they don't have any saturated fat or cholesterol. Canned beans are convenient, but with a little planning ahead, dried beans can be just as easy. And they are about half the cost of the canned beans. So I went to the local grocery store and picked up some canned beans and dried beans just to compare the costs. And each of these cans of beans, I have some light red kidney beans, black beans, and garbanzo beans. These all have about one and three quarters cups of cooked beans in them. This can of kidney beans was 99 cents. That makes it about 57 cents per cup of cooked beans. This bag of light red kidney beans was $1.29. If I cook this whole bag, I'm gonna get about six and three quarters cups of cooked beans. That makes these about 19 cents per cup versus the 57 cents per cup. The black beans, I got a bag of these for $1.99. If I cook this whole bag, I'm gonna get about nine and three quarters cups of cooked beans. That makes these about 20 cents per cup versus the 57 cents per cup. These garbanzo beans, I got these for $1.99. I get about nine and three quarters cups out of this, which makes it about 20 cents per cup. Now both of these cans of beans were 99 cents. This can was $1.29. So that makes these beans about 74 cents per cup versus the 20 cents per cup. Also, canned beans do tend to have a lot of sodium in them. So when you're using dried beans, you're getting a lot less sodium and you can control how much sodium you're adding into your meals. Now many people shy away from using dry beans because it seems like there's just such a process to cooking them. When in reality, it's pretty simple. With a little bit of planning ahead, you just soak them and then you cook them. You can choose a short soak or a long soak. If you have an electric pressure cooker or an Instapot, it makes that process even simpler. Just rinse and cook. Many stores sell in bulk, which saves you even more money. So I found that if I buy 10 pounds or more of beans, I could get the light red kidney beans for $1.07 a pound versus $1.29 a pound. I could get the black beans for 94 cents a pound versus $1.99, and their garbanzo beans for 92 cents a pound versus the $1.99 a pound. Dried beans will last a long time when stored properly. So if you plan to use a lot of beans, buying in bulk is a very budget-friendly option. If you like the convenience of having beans ready to go, cooked dried beans will freeze really well. So if you just take a little bit of time and, and planning ahead and you cook up a big batch of these dried beans, then you can divide them into smaller portions and freeze them and just pull them out of the freezer when you're ready to use them. It's just as simple as opening up a can of beans. There are dozens of varieties of dried beans. All of them are versatile and full of nutrients and they are very budget friendly. So what more could you ask for?